So, uh, yeah, I got a haircut. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Anyways, right now, the seventh and final season of Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. is in a full swing. And let me just say, I am absolutely loving it. This show is definitely one of my favorite shows of all time. And probably, actually, I would definitely say it is my favorite show ever. It has just had some of the best characters and writing and just overall stories of any show I have ever seen. But despite this, it has never really truly broken into the mainstream and never been very popular. I mean, yeah, it's had a pretty decent viewership, but nothing too amazing. And that really is a shame because the show truly is that good. So today in honor of season 7, I thought I would go over the 7 reasons you should watch Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Before I get into it, just a little warning, this video will contain various minor spoilers for the show, but it really won't be anything too major, just things like so and so character appears, and there will be one section which will have some slightly more spoilers. But once it gets to that point, I will warn you and give you a time code if you want to skip that. But I mean, really, if you're so concerned about avoiding spoilers, then you should really just watch the show already. It seems like you've already been convinced. The first and number one reason that you should watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is because of the characters. And I decided to put this first because the average viewer most certainly will not make it to the end of this video. And if someone only watches a little bit, this is the point that I want them to hear. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. easily has some of the best characters of any TV show ever. The first season starts off with our main six characters of Melinda May, the pilot, Grant Ward, the specialist, Fitz and Simmons, mechanical and bioengineering, Sky, the hacker slash civilian, and Agent Philip J. Coulson, the team leader. They all have very distinct personalities, except for really Fitzsimmons, they're kind of grouped over here together as one, but the rest are all very distinct. And then as the show goes on, we get to learn more about them and who they really are as people. And then they have amazing character arcs, and by the end of the show, they are so much more than the characters that they were at the beginning. I have mentioned in previous videos how much of a fan I am of Phil Coulson, and he is certainly at his best here, but the show is full of so many amazing characters that I don't think I would even say he is my favorite. I mean, that honor would go to Grant Ward. Ward is awesome. As I said, he is a specialist, so he is just a shield agent who is just really good at going in and getting the job done. <laughs> And then his character arc and the story they tell with him is just so good, and it keeps you interested every second along the way. He never has a dull moment. And he is just one of many. Fitzsimmons are hilarious. The perimeter is surrounded by a 20-foot high neodymium laser grid. Touch it and you're toast. Dead toast. If we had a monkey, we could get in. Oh, Fitz! If we had a small monkey, he could slip through the sensors and disable the fence's power source with his adorable little hat. Sky is wonderful. So, are we British or American? Does that matter? When well, we're traveling together, we should at least be from the same country. How's your Scottish accent? I don't know. You tell me how great it is, laddie. American, then. And May is the cavalry. I just honestly can't think of a single poor character in the show. They're just all so amazing. And as the show goes on, as you would expect, we meet new characters and the team certainly changes up, but the characters never cease to amaze. If you're not a sucker for fabulous characters and you still need more convincing to just go watch this show, well, reason number two is the story. The storytelling in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is on point. I mean, it constantly keeps you on your toes trying to guess what will happen next. And I personally love twists in stories, and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. pulls no punches in that regard. As soon as you think you have something figured out, it'll just throw a curveball, and then you notice all the signs that are really obvious and you really should have noticed sooner, but didn't pick up on. 
Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. just has everything you would want from a show. Friendship, betrayal, true love, sacrifice, humor, death, and I mean, they just all come together to tell one superb story. Reason three is the writing. And Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. has to have some of the greatest writers currently in the industry. You can really tell that they know what they are doing and truly care about the story they are telling and the characters within it. There's been a number of times when the show's tackled plot lines that from an outside perspective seem like they should in no way work. But the S.H.I.E.L.D. writers not only managed to pull it off, but managed to make it extremely amazing along the way. And, I mean, yep, the show has excellent writers, so moving on to number four, it's Marvel. This point kind of just speaks for itself. I mean, it's part of the MCU and has connections to the movies. Now, I'm by no means saying that anything connected to Marvel or even the Marvel Cinematic Universe is amazing, because, I mean, that's certainly not always the case. But Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. happens to have that super extreme level of quality that the best of the movies do. And it being in this universe is just a good reason to check it out, especially if you're a big fan of those movies, just so you can experience this little corner of the universe. If you're a big fan of the movies, just do yourself a favor and go watch this show. You will not regret it. Number five, pacing. And this point is a bit of a double-edged sword, as the pacing is probably what Season 1 struggles the most with. Season 1 is easily the weakest season of the show, especially the first half of it. So if you decide to give the show a try, I urge you to at least make it through the first season. Even if you're not super enjoying it, the following seasons improve in every aspect and you'll be so happy that you continued the show. And if you love Season 1, get ready for the ride of your life over the next six, because you are absolutely going to love every second of it. But this point was supposed to be about the pacing, so I'm going to get back to that. Seasons two through six and seven thus far have such excellent pacing that there is rarely ever a dry moment. And season four especially made it so that all 22 episodes are very important to the story and then all flow together so nicely so that, I mean, the pacing is just wonderful. Reason number six is the things that they are able to bring over from comics and the storylines they are able to tell that the movies just never do. This reason kind of only applies if you're a big fan of the comics, but I mean, really anybody can enjoy these wonderful comic characters and storylines brought into a live action format. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. brings over a number of characters and plot lines from the comics, including, and I'm gonna try really hard not to spoil anything here, but it includes Carl Curiel, Franklin Hall, Glenn Talbot, and others, as well as select characters that we have seen previously in the movies, including the likes of Maria Hall, Lady Sith, and Nick Fury. And there are a bunch more characters and plot lines that they borrow from the comics, but those are a bit more spoilery. And remember that part in the first where I said there was going to be a more spoilery section, but you can skip it if you want? Well, that's this part. So if you don't want to hear about these characters and plot lines, you can skip to this time code here somewhere on the screen if you want to avoid it. So I'm assuming if you're still watching this, that means that you want to hear the a bit more spoilery characters and plot lines that will be in the show. And that includes the likes of Ghost Rider, Madam Hydra, Graviton, Deathlock, and more, as well as plot lines about the Inhumans, Kree, and time travel. And now I'm just giving a minute here, just to pause between there, in case people skipping past that go a little bit too early, don't want to hear the tail end of it. And yeah, welcome back. So if these are the kind of things you would want to see, I know just the show for you. For the seventh and final reason, I needed some help. Because I think something rings more true when you hear it from multiple people. So take it away, guys. Okay. So the big question is, why should you watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Why should you watch a show that's almost near the end? Why should you watch a show that's first season was a little rough? Because it was a bit too Joss whedon -y. I suppose the main answer is the characters. Hi, I'm Eric from Blind Wave. I watch television for a living. S.H.I.E.L.D. is my f number one favorite show. That's all I have to say. Yeah. 
Hey guys, I'm Logan from Simple Reactions, and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is a phenomenal show. Uh, one of the main reasons why I, I just love it so much is the writing. What makes any show of any genre, good or bad, great or terrible, comes down to the characters, to the character arcs, to their growth. And this show, <laughs> excuse the cat, this show has some of the best character arcs of of any show that I watch. I'm sure there's other great shows out there that are have the same thing. But the character growth and arcs of these characters, they make sense. They never feels like any plot holes. They're just amazing. <laughs> she just has some of the best writing in television. Yeah. Like over like over the seasons and stuff of all that they've yeah. had and the way they tie things in. He's like, "Oh my god, I can't believe that's where it went with it." It's yeah. so good. The, the writing is just very near perfection. Uh, the twists, the turns, the ideas, everything that is put into the show with the writing and how they play out the show is just amazing. They, the, the writing of the show elevates what is an okay budget, okay cinematography, okay effects, great stunts, but everything just like it plays with you. Like I will always say that I have to wait until this season is over. But as of right now, season four of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is my favorite season of television ever. If only for the way they formatted it and brought everything together. Yeah. And if there's any character that you want to attach yourself to in terms of growth, it would be the character Daisy Sky Johnson. Her growth as a character, Chloe Bennett's growth as an actress as that character, has been one of the most phenomenal things to watch over the course of the seven seasons. A show started with practically a majority of unknowns based upon a, a, a TV show spinoff of a movie where the main lead's a character that's supposed to be dead became a show that was survived by the skin of its teeth by the end of season one, t learned from its season one mistakes, took off the ground running in season two, and since season two has not stopped running is by far one of the most fantastic shows you could ever get involved in. It, for me, it fills in the gaps of the movies, and it gives you characters that aren't larger than life, but can be larger than life. It gives you characters to attach yourself to, but also to hate. Some, sometimes rightfully, sometimes unrightfully. I don't think it's a word. It's great, yeah. Love, uh, 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 yeah, Shield, Shield is just really good, and it, and they're so creative in the way that they do everything. Yeah. But the point is, why should you watch Agents of Shield? Because it is one of the best Marvel shows out there. Its growth, its change, its learning curve is amazing. And if you want, if there's any show to really give you that gives you the time to invest in these characters, and mess with your emotions, but also deliver satisfying scenes, and, and just, ah, it's hard to explain. I feel like you can go to any reaction we've done and watch us talk about how much we love S.H.I.E.L.D. But I was trying to think really hard, why should anybody dive into a show that's almost near its end? And the best part I can say is, because you'll not regret it. Thank you so much to all the wonderful people who agreed to be a part of this. And if you want to go check out them, their channels will all be linked down in the description. And again, I can't say it enough. Thank you guys so much. But yeah, Agents of Shield has great characters, fantastic storytelling, excellent writing, and it's Marvel. So I mean, there is no reason that you shouldn't watch it. So I mean, come on, what are you still doing here? Just go watch it already. But anyways... If you are still here, thank you so much for watching, and I do really hope that you enjoyed it. If you haven't seen the show before and you check it out because of this, that would be awesome, and let me know down in the comments. And if you have seen the show, let me know what you thought of my reasons, and also you can put down in the comments your number one reason someone should watch this show. But again, if you did like the video, be sure to leave a like and share it with your friends. And if you want to be sure that you never miss a video from me in the future, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I got some more videos on the way, so hopefully those are going to be coming soon. And you can click over here to watch a video about Nova, 
or you can click over here to watch a video about the Red Guardian. But anyways, that's all I've got for you today. I'll see you next time. It will just throw you a curveball, and then you feel dumb when you realize all the little hints that they were giving for that, that you really should have noticed it sooner, but you have a... Oops.